At the Texas Senate Republican Executive Committee, SREC, meeting on Saturday, GOP leadership voted 58 to 2 on a resolution that called for Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan to resign after his attempt to impeach Attorney General Ken Paxton failed earlier this week. The resolution, obtained by the Texas Scorecard, cited the failed impeachment of Paxton and the appointment of nine Democrats to chair important legislative committees as reasons for his resignation. Speaker Dade Phelan ignored or actively undermined several GOP priorities during the regular session, failing to prioritize legislation to secure our borders and elections, the resolution states. NEW leadership is needed in the House of Representatives for the upcoming special session and potential subsequent special sessions to ensure that conservative priorities are achieved and members are no longer pressured to act and vote contrary to the platform, principles, and priorities of the party they represent and its voters. The resolution adds that if Dade Phelan does not step down, the Republican representatives should vote to vacate the chair and allow for a new speaker who has pledged to honor and support the priorities and principles of the Republican Party to be elected. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton also called for Phelan to resign in a post on X in May. I called on Liberal Speaker Dade Phelan to resign after he was recorded numerous times presiding over the Texas House in a state of apparent debilitating intoxication, he said. Despite this embarrassing conduct and his continuing erratic behavior, Phelan has refused to resign, Paxton continued. He has also wasted millions of tax dollars on a politically motivated sham impeachment, killed a critical border security bill and empowered an Obama lawyer to stop conservative legislation. As the legislature prepares for an anticipated special session to provide children with more opportunities for quality education, it is critical that Dade Phelan resigns as speaker or is removed from his leadership position. The people of Texas deserve serious, conservative, and unimpaired leadership, he concluded. Political commentator D.C. Drano pointed out on X, the tides have completely turned against this backstabbing rhino after his failed attempt to remove A.G. Ken Paxton. Outgoing chief counsel to the Food and Drug Administration under former President Donald Trump James R. Lawrence III said that Phelan must go in response to a question posed on X by Texas State Representative Brian Harrison, should anyone who killed bills to secure the border or ban COVID mandates have leadership positions in the Texas House? A.G. Paxton was acquitted of all 16 counts of impeachment charges on September 16.